Hi, this is Dave Weiss with the Glue Bomb Show. I'm trying something new. I am in a model building contest right now. A friend of mine set me up and helped me to get a 72 Chevelle model kit, which was my very first car. My first car was a 72 Chevelle Malibu. It was gold with a black vinyl top. Now, I have never put a vinyl top on a car. And so I started looking some things up, and I started learning how to do it, and I'd like to share with you what I'm doing as I do it. So I'm going to start off by telling you that I already put the sides on, the sides of the vinyl top. We're using blue painter's tape. And essentially what I did was I ran the tape. I used three-quarter inch blue tape, ran it along the sides, and then with a brand new sharp X-Acto knife, I cut around the window trim in here, and of course in the front as well. Uh, these two poles will also get it, but I'm going to have to put that on as a separate piece. Now, I remember my Chevelle vividly having two seams along the top of the roof, so we're going to duplicate that here. Um, we're going to add a piece of 2-inch, or it's actually 1.88-inch uh, blue tape as well. We're going to run that right over the top. And I'll show you exactly what I do. All right. And then take off a healthy length. I'm just going to rip it. And we're going to lay this right on the top of the car. Now I'm going to try to get this as straight as I possibly can so that everything lines up. Uh, we're going to run it right over the middle of the roof. And hopefully there will be just a slight bump there. And again, we're going to have to make sure that it lays on fairly straight because I want it centered. I'm going to actually light, sit this down so that I can really eyeball this. All right, so we're going to lay it on the roof, try to center it up. We're going to push it down as hard as I can. And we're going to try and, we, one of the things you need to do is you really need to burnish right along, right along the seams, okay? There's also a small strip over the hood that we're going to run in here. Now... You might wonder how you get the uh, how you get it around those things the the, uh, the window trim so you can see it. Well, what I do is as I lay it in, I run a fingernail right over that seam. Now we're going to make sure it's all pushed down really well and burnished down really well, and then I'm going to just run a fingernail along that seam. And what that does is it gives me a nice scored line so that I can cut uh, cut around the the trim and then I will paint that trim. Now we're gonna do the same thing here on the on the trunk itself. We're gonna, because there's just a thin strip. A thin strip is harder to get than you think. And again, I'm going to run that fingernail right along there and right along the trunk lid. The trunk lid's actually pretty easy to see. We're gonna do that. And then the same thing along the, the roof line and the windshield line. I'm gonna really burnish that down hard to make sure that it stays in those uh, in, in the runs along the contour there and it actually sticks down and then we're going to again run that fingernail right along that tip right along the top of the uh, the window molding and I gotta admit I'm having a hard time getting that just so so we're gonna probably end up cutting this twice I'm gonna cut it along the roof line and then cut back just a little bit alright so let's cut this out and see what we end up with all right, get my handy dandy brand new X-Acto knife and X-Acto blade. We'll start off by cutting along the trunk lid. Again, that's got a pretty nice deep score in it there, so I'm not going to have to worry about that too much. That should lay right in. And we'll just peel it off gently. And I notice I got a little crooked there, so I'm just going to run a... Run it in there one more time. Now, of course, my Malibu was a $600 car, so it wasn't quite as spippy as this one I'm hoping will be. So I'm kind of kind of try to make it as much like my original car as I possibly can. The one thing I'm going to do that I've already decided, even though it's hopefully going to be a lot more bright and shiny and spiffy than my uh, 
in my Malibu is I'm going to make sure that I put the one marking on it that the one custom thing that I did to my own which was to put a bumper sticker on for my favorite band Rush. There's going to be a little Rush bumper sticker on it just as kind of a a reminder, a, re a memory. And uh, okay, so here we go. You can see I got it out around the rear window now and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that and we will trim that up a little bit. We're going to paint the trim silver. I'm probably going to paint all the trim silver before I paint the roof black. And the reason I'm going to do that is because um, if I slip a little, I'm going to cover it over with black, right? So we'll do the, the silver first um, and then we'll go from there. So we're going to go the easy way with the uh, the roof line there. We're going to cut it off right about where the molding should be. And then I'm just going to trim. Gonna trim there because my blade is very sharp. And so I'm really just having to make sure that I run it right along that line. And there we go. And peel it off. And uh, hopefully... we're going to end up with a really something that looks really good <sighs> okay well we're gonna stop it there for now I'll give you some pictures of it when it's now as you can see I painted it with a semi-gloss black the paint was still a little wet when I took these pictures but I think you get the idea it's not flawless but for a first attempt I'm pretty happy with it if you like it, try it yourself. And remember, model building is supposed to be fun, so have fun.